Hey, DevNet, this is Jason Schaffner. I'm a solutions architect with Sirius Federal. Uh, spent some time working with the military, the IC, and private env environments. Uh, here to present some automated solutions for your GitLab and AppDynamics customers. Hi, this is Jay Riggins. I'm a technical consultant for Sirius Federal. I've been a system engineer for over 20 years working with federal and DOD agencies, uh, giving me a unique perspective into uh, the environments and the challenges uh, that DOD faces and uh, has led me to believe that automation is the key to moving them forward. In this presentation, we're going to identify the problem, demonstrate the solution, and provide an overview of it, present the value of this solution, and the next steps you need to take to move forward. So what's the problem? Poorly or insufficiently tested code puts the mission at risk. Development schedules are incredibly tight, coupled with a lack of performance testing automation in the current development tool set. Performance and security testing of the code, if it's done at all, is typically done at the end of the development cycle. This code is then moved to production with the plan that it'll be fixed during the next release. This is a result of not having the proper tool sets. The tools we're going to demonstrate are GitLab as a code repository and Cisco App Dynamics filling the role of the application performance management tool. So how do we improve this? To address this, we have developed automated performance testing that begins with a code commit from GitLab that triggers a targeted build and deployment application automated performance testing is run against the target and the metrics are collected by Cisco App Dynamics and then pulled and formatted as a report using Python to then be moved back into GitLab for review. When a health rule is triggered in Cisco App Dynamics, a notification can be sent through WebEx Teams. This entire process is automated and typically completes in just minutes. Additionally, your developers do not have to leave their GitLab environment or task switch to get detailed performance metrics on the code they just committed. They receive a notification of the results and can make improvements right there before the product ever leaves their desk. Instead of simply talking about how we can improve your process, let's do a demonstration. Jay, over to you. All right, thanks, Jason. So I'm here on my local development system. As you can see, I am in my repository. I have already cloned down this repository from my remote, which in this case is GitLab. I've made a modification to a file. I have made a commit to that file, and now I'm going to push up my changes up to my remote. So for that, I'll just do git push, and the origin is going to be our master branch, and we'll send that away. All right, looks like everything worked correctly. So now let's jump over to our GitLab environment, and I'll just refresh my screen here to make sure I have the latest and greatest. And we can see that we do have an active pipeline running. So if we take a look in there, we can see our full pipeline. So we have our build stage with our build job that's building up our application. We have a script stage that uh, executes our automated scripts. We have a test stage with our performance testing and just some standardized unit testing. And we also have a deploy stage because we're gonna deploy this application uh, to a staging environment. All right. So it does take a little bit of time for that process to run. Um, we are putting some load on that application uh, and we're gonna have AppDynamics collect some performance metrics. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to jump back into the slide deck. So this is the architecture of our solution. Uh, again, it all starts with a developer committing code to GitLab. So GitLab is a complete DevOps platform. Developers are very busy. They wanna have all their information that they require in a single place. So with GitLab, you get that complete CI, CD in a single application. You have one interface, one conversation. We created this automation to add performance testing into that single platform. This way developers can stay in their flow, manage their projects rather than worrying about a group of disparate tools. So that commit that I just did uh, triggered the continuous integration pipeline. The build job then calls JMeter, which we're using to create load for the application. Uh, without that, AppDynamics would ha wouldn't have any metrics to gather. Uh, from there, AppDynamics collects metric information about how the application is performing. 
If you're not familiar, AppDynamics is an application performance monitoring solution. It uses machine learning to provide real-time visibility and insight into the application environments. So the AppDynamics uh, performance data is then used to generate performance graphs, and those are injected back into GitLab using GitLab pages, which is GitLab's built-in feature that allows you to publish uh, websites directly from a repository in GitLab. This allows developers to remain in the GitLab platform while getting the added value of AppDynamics real-time application visibility. And at the same time, AppDynamics is also communicating using WebEx teams to update information of the pipelines that are running and the performance testing and where you can find the results of those tests as well. Okay, so let's take a look at that continuous integration pipeline that we saw a little bit earlier within GitLab. So we have our build job. So that's kicked off with the commit of code into GitLab, right? It pulls the new code and deploys it for us. The performance test job, that runs the performance testing and it pulls Cisco AppDynamics metrics and reformats that data so it can generate interactive graphs that are injected back into GitLab. Our unit tests, again, we're just running some standard unit tests. Uh, the deploy job deploys our application to a staging server and then the pages job publishes the new metrics data from AppDynamics. Back to you, Jason. Thank you, Jay. So you're gonna ask why GitLab? As the most widely used code repository tool in the market, it's likely that your team's already using it. The collaborative nature of GitLab, from planning to coding to deployment, automates the entire DevSecOps lifecycle, bringing your developers, your security team, and your operation teams together in a single application. Next is why Cisco App Dynamics. As one of the leading application performance monitoring platforms and the most comprehensive and advanced, it pairs well with GitLab. AppDynamics sets itself apart by being from, built from the ground up to monitor production environments. Using business transactions, which represent the end-to-end -end action that a user executes within your application and are unique to Cisco AppDynamics, this gives you a comprehensive view into your business, how your systems are performing, and how your customer experience is in real time. There are many tools within AppDynamics, only a few of which we'll touch on during this presentation. The first one is root cause analysis, which uses business transactions to determine what normal performance is for your system. And when it detects a deviation from that, it will alert and determine a root cause, providing your team with a drill down into the suspected cause. Another tool is end use monitoring that should be mentioned, allowing your team to see your systems from the point of view of your users, which gives you unparalleled information into their experience. And with all of that, why does this matter? It's well known that task switching is destructive to productivity. Code developers are technically focused and tightly time bound. And even a five minute task switch or interruption can require an hour to recover from. That's what drives so much of this automation adoption, allowing the developers to develop cleanly and securely, all while remaining in their development environment. And Jay, we'll go back to you. Great, thanks. So these charts are for the developer, right? This, this shows the, the metrics and the information that the developer is interested in as they're building up this application. So it'll, it'll display response, uh, response time, load, any errors, uh, even disk usage, and provide links back to the business transaction uh, within AppDynamics. So AppDynamics performance tooling is focused on the end user success and working with the application. Measures and monitoring are automatically focused on the metrics and monitoring that matters for the mission. So the same is true of root cause analysis. If a critical mission function is failing, we're able to diagnose why very quickly. There are many other ways AppDynamics improves operational performance, However, for this presentation, we're gonna stay focused on adding value to our DevOps teams and automating the cycle. Okay, so let's go and see how our performance test is going. So we can see here, this is a chart that generates the performance test data that gets passed back over to GitLab pages. Uh, you can see up here, uh, we are still in our day trader application. So we have average response times. We also have a graph for calls per minute and also errors per minute. Um, some additional functionality in this chart is that we can compare it with a previous run. Uh, so if we select one from a few days ago, 
we can get a comparison on the chart that was run at that time and what we just ran a few minutes ago. All right, but we wanna take a little bit, a uh, little closer look at one of these business transactions. So we can see here that the sell transaction is taking way too long to complete. Um, we also have another one here, portfolio, that isn't performing too well either, uh, but let's focus on sell in this case. So in order to find out more information about this, I can just navigate over to my key on the right-hand side. I see the key for that sell transaction. When I click on that, I'm gonna be taken directly into AppDynamics. It's going to take me to the location of the snapshot, uh, so the point in time view of that application, so we can see a little bit more about what's going wrong. Right, and we can see that when it loads, I'm here with my snapshot. I'm also in my sell transaction, and I am in it for the time frame that the graph was created. All right, so I just need to open that a little more, and I can drill down into the analytics of the application. And we can see here that we have one thread that is taking 98% of that time, and that is a sleep thread. So someone put a sleep thread into our application, and it is slowing down performance. So also while we were waiting, uh, AppDynamics also communicate, communicated with WebEx Teams, right? So we can see here that it sent us some notifications, uh, links to our pipeline directly in GitLab, and also links to our performance charts that are generated in GitLab pages. By committing to automation, you are improving mission operations by automating performance testing and shrinking development time by shifting performance testing left in the development cycle. And don't forget, the solution is not just for DevSecOps. You can apply automated performance testing to your staging environments to gather metrics in a deployment that more closely monitors or mirrors your production infrastructure. On behalf of Jason Schaffner, myself, and Sirius Federal, we want to thank you for your time today and remind you to commit to automation.